All right, what's on the bench today? Uh, another radio. I had so much fun uh, getting that other radio working that um, I wanted to do another one because I keep seeing them pop up on eBay. And I kind of look for maybe a $150 radio, something like that. So this is about a $150 radio, free shipping. Um, don't know how they do that. It was from Japan, so free, free shipping from Japan. And uh, it is Japanese model because I think there weren't many S's sold elsewhere. But I think this is the low power version. Uh, I think this is maybe a 10 watt. I think the regular 730 was 100 watt. And then this one is uh, the S version, which is kind of a QRP rig, rig which is kind of cute. Um, and it came with the, uh, <clears throat> came with the microphone, uh, real old school like a microphone and does it work uh so the uh the display certainly works now i've already made one repair uh the backlight for the um s meter uh was burned out so i replaced it with a uh, an led it was a um a yellow backed um uv lamp a uh, uv um meter with a clear bulb behind it so i just replaced it with a yellow led uh so that 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 i've already fixed i didn't i didn't show that uh let's see here but all uh, all frequencies seem to work i have it locked down here let's see here let's see if i can't hear something uh i need to turn my room lights off because they interfere with the radio and let me turn on a lamp here so we can see things. So that's a uh, FT8 or something. 10 meters has been open all day. I uh, speak in Spanish. Find somebody talking somewhere. Anyway, uh, there you go. It does work. So the receive works everywhere. Now there is uh, some, let me turn the room lights back on. So there are some known issues on the radio so far. Uh, I've noticed the preamp doesn't work. That's a very common fault of these radios. There's a relay whose contacts burn and um, you need to replace that relay um, or just clean it. Uh, so I might try both. I might try to clean it first because it's difficult to find a replacement for that particular um, relay because of the pinout. It's a funny pinout. It's a double pull, do, double pull, double throw that brings the preamplifier in and out. But it's easy to build a little circuit board and use a, a different footprint. Uh, so anyway, it's easy. This will be easy to fix. Um, I don't know if it transmit yet. Uh, I haven't tested that. Um, I have gone ahead and order a uh, capacitor kit for it. So I'm going to, I'm going to recap the whole thing. Um, and uh, yeah, other than that, it's a cute little radio. Uh, let me show you one of the reasons I bought this. Uh, it's a IC730. Now these days, the IC7300 is a very, very popular radio. And if you look behind over there is an IC7300. Um, and the cool thing about these two radios is they're exactly the same size. <laughs> exactly. Uh, and so having the 730 and the 7300 is uh, very fun. All right. I'm taking the screws out. So over here. And... Uh, 
Yeah, so it's all through hole design. Uh, looks very nice. Um, I like the way the potentiometers look. They're kind of closed uh, potentiometers. Um, all con uh, connectors where it's easy to pull out the board, so very easy to do a, uh, a recapping of this thing, I think. I don't know exactly how to get into the power amplifier yet, but uh, yeah, one of the one of the cool things about this, um, how can I photograph this? Let me, let's see here. Let me, <clears throat> let me remove a couple of things. Let me take the power off of this thing. Take the antenna out. Yeah, the uh, the designer of this radio liked uh, a particular op amp. A JRC four five five eight, and there's a one two three four five uh, six. Uh, anyway, a bunch of those, a bunch of those op amps in here. That's kind of cool. Uh, if you got a good one, why not? Uh, there's a nice mechanical filter here at four fifty five, and this is a ceramic filter down here at four fifty five. So looks like maybe there's a two different uh, size bandwidth filters in it. Now on this side over here, let's see, how can I, can I just flip the radio up? Let me look. On this side are all of the uh, band filters and uh, right there is the relay that I will need to replace or clean. Uh, so yeah, but it looks, looks like, looks like a lot of fun. I haven't taken the bottom off yet. Uh, see what's under there. Yeah. So on the bottom side of the radio, uh, there's a bunch of uh, circuits under cans. So these are probably the uh, phase lock loop, phase lock loop components, the frequency generation. Oh, there's a filter over there, multi-band filter. What's under here? Is that? These come off easy. That one came off real easy. This one comes off easy. Yeah. That kind of is suspicious for maybe a phase lock loop. Let me see if I can't pry. Oh, there we go. This lid pries off easy. Somebody's fingerprints are on this. <laughs> check out, let's check to see who that is, if they're wanted by the police. Oh, more bandpass filtering over here. So this is a. Uh, uh, oh no, this is frequency generation. Ah, each band. Uh, that's what it is. This is like a phase lock loop per band. Wow, real old school. So these are all uh, crystals here. So this oscillates at particular frequencies, I would believe. And then uh, you pick the one and then this is probably the phase lock loop over here. That's just a guess. I haven't looked at the schematics too heavily yet. Uh, just about the, just for the uh, relay there, but yeah, this will be easy to get into. This board, all oh, this board, all of these come out really easy. Um, the only other thing I need to figure out is how to uh, how to open the back there. Uh, here is the oh, it's upside down. Here's the back of the radio. Maybe that's how you get it, I'm not sure. Uh, power, ground, antenna, some accessory connector here. I think these are great for transverters also. You don't need many watts for a transverter, so 10 watts is great. Uh, key and external antenna. And then an ALC and a memo send. Memo send, hmm, I don't know. A way to put in audio. Yeah, let me figure out how to, uh, I think I, I think the instruction book tells you how to take it apart, so I should probably read that before I dig in too far. But anyway, there you go. That's just a quick introduction. Quick introduction to my new radio that will be on some videos here. And uh, it is definitely all modes, so we'll be able to look at uh, AM, upper sideband, lower sideband, CW. We'll be able to look at all of those on a spectrum analyzer, so that will be, uh, that'll be a good radio to demo all those things with. And uh, yeah, I like it. It, it, it actually is a nice radio to work, so. Oh, and I forgot one extra layer of the radio. This, uh, there's two screws that you loosen here and then this is hinged. And uh, make sure I don't pinch on anything. 
uh, but yeah, there's a there's a, a layer under there, so yeah, that's kind of fun.